Well, the suicide bomber detonated his car at a security checkpoint outside the police headquarters, uh, which are also located near a a military training facility in western Kabul. It set set off a huge explosion uh, at around 9 a.m. this morning that could be heard throughout various surrounding neighborhoods. A witness on the scene tells me that debris and pieces of broken glass litter the streets as far as hundreds of meters away from where the car bomb was set off, and the facade of a tall building has been completely ripped away. Way. Um, a man who lives nearby told me that all the windows from his house are shattered. His children are scared. He says they can't stop crying, and um, people are extremely uh, worried, of course. Uh, the death toll is still uncertain at this, at this point, but authorities are aware of at least 95 injured. Uh, the numbers, however, could still rise as victims, including many women and children, are rushed to hospitals. Uh, this is the second attack in Kabul in two days. Uh, yesterday, a bomb targeting a van ca- carrying employees of the Interior Ministry's counter-narcotics na- division um, killed, at le- uh, killed five people and injured seven. Margot, the Taliban has claimed responsibility for this. Yes, Claire, they did. And actually, this attack happened just as an eighth round of talks is going on this week between the Taliban and the U.S. in Qatar, uh, where the Taliban maintain what they call a political office. Uh, The U.S. envoy had just reported excellent progress in the talks, uh, and the Taliban delegation had also reported uh, progress uh, with the U.S. But all the same, the Taliban have been staging near-daily attacks across the country, uh, and these usually target Afghan forces or government officials, or even those seen as loyal uh, to the government. Uh, They're eager to show that despite their willingness to negotiate with the United States, they remain a staunch enemy of the government, uh, with whom they still refuse to speak officially. And they they clearly have the upper hand in some respects. Uh, Today, the Taliban actually control uh, or influence half of Afghanistan, and they're at their strongest since 2001, uh, when the U.S.-led invasion toppled their government.